This video is created by Jagrat Creations. It is useful to the students who are reading for inter C IPCC. It is also this video is also useful to the students who are reading for corporate accounting in BCom because it is about absorption of a company. It is also useful to the professional courses like CS Executive ICWA who has got a paper of company accounts and they have got a topic of absorption of a company. I want you to observe one sum on the screen. Try to read the sum by pausing the video. Let me read for you. The balance sheet of Manan Limited and Mansi Limited as on 31st of Bar 2016 are as follows. So this first balance sheet is of Manan Limited, this second balance sheet is of Mansi Limited. It was proposed that the Manan Limited should be taken over by Mansi Limited. So Mansi Limited is the purchaser, Manan Limited is the vendor. The following arrangements were accepted by both the companies. Goodwill of Manan Limited is to be considered valueless. So goodwill of Manan Limited is considered to be valueless. Areas of depreciation of Manan Limited amounted to 40,000. So this fixed assets is subject to 40,000 areas of depreciation. The holders of two equity shares of Manan Limited will re was to receive 10 shares of Manzi Limited and so much of cash as necessary to adjust the rights of shareholders of both the companies in accordance with the intrinsic value of the shares. So this sum is based on intrinsic value. Now for two shares, ten shares are to be given. At what price? At a price of intrinsic value of the share of a purchaser. So we are required to find out the intrinsic value of the share of purchaser. And that value of share will be considered, intrinsic value of share will be considered as the exchange value for the acquisition of business of Manan Limited. We shall work out the intrinsic value. I am going to explain this point in detail. And the balance, uh, as per their balance sheet, subject to necessary adjustment in regard to goodwill and depreciation in case of Manan Limited balance sheet. You are required to calculate the purchase consent, show the balance sheet after the absorption. Now, I want to prepare working. First off, Manan Limited, it's a vendor company. Manan company has sold its entire business to Mansi. Here I am going to write down the net assets purchased. Here I am going to write down the payment made there against. The payment has to be made on the basis of intrinsic value of the share. That's an important point of this sum. Goodwill of Manan Limited is to be considered valueless, so goodwill is valueless. Areas of depreciation for Manan Limited amounted to 40,000. So these fixed assets are subject to depreciation of 40,000. So this is the price at which the fixed assets of Manan Limited is being purchased. Current assets purchased at the book value. Deduct the liabilities. Unsecured loan. Sundry creditors. So these are the assets minus liabilities net assets purchased. How the payment is to be made? The holders of every two share in Manan Limited was to receive 10 shares in Mansi Limited. Now for two share, 10 shares are to be given. Let us find out the number of shares. For two share, 10 shares are to be given. Manan Limited total share capital is made of 10,000 shares. So for 2 shares, 10 shares, how many shares should be given for 10,000 shares? That works out to be 50,000 shares are given, that of 10 each. But 50,000 shares are share of 10 each is given, but is not given at a price of 10. We are required to find out the price of the share of this Mansi Limited on the basis of intrinsic value that we shall work out. Now, I want to work out the intrinsic value of Manan Limited on the basis of this 
adjustment of depreciation and goodwill being valueless. This is the total purchase price to be paid. This is the face value of equity shares given. But how much is the security premium that will be worked out on the basis of intrinsic value of the share and that of Bansi Limited? Now intrinsic value of the share of Banan Limited. To find out the intrinsic value net assets divided by number of shares. Net assets is 1150,000 divided by number of shares in case of Banan Limited, 10,000. So value of one share is 115. Similarly, I want to work out the intrinsic value of shares of Bansi Limited for this. This balance sheet will be considered. Net assets divided by number of equity shares. Fixed assets plus bank balance plus current assets, total assets, 24,60,000. Minus liabilities. So these are the net assets divided by number of shares, 80,000. So 80,000 are the shares, 20 rupees is the share. Now 50,000 shares are to be given at a price of 20. Face value is 10. The valuation made on the basis of intrinsic value is 20. So 10 is the security premium. So 50,000 into 10, this is the security premium. So from this purchase price, this is the payment made in terms of equity share. Balance is to be paid in cash. That is one way to work out. But let me work out the exchange ratio on the basis of intrinsic value. This is an additional working note for your better understanding that has been prepared. This is a balance. Two shares are exchanged for 10 shares. Two share. Value of one share is 115. So 2 into 115. Total payment. Total exchange value is 230. Now purchaser has given 10 shares. Each of 20 is. So the value of 10 shares given is 200. The value of shares acquired. The, the value of shares acquired. The payment to be made for these shares is 230. Again, the 10 shares are given, 200 is paid. So to settle the account, we are required to pay 30 rupees. Two, we are required to pay 30 rupees against the exchange of 230 for 200. So what is to be done? For two shares, 30 rupees are to be given. How much for 10,000 shares? So you are required to give 150,000 on the basis of this calculation. Or from this purchase price, if you did it, you will get the same answer. How much cash is to be paid? Deduct. The equity share and security premium from the purchase price, 150000 This is another way to get the same answer. Answer is same in both the case. Notice it. This is the additional explanation given to you. Need not be done in the examination because you can find out the cash balance straight away by this method of preparing the working note. Now I want to prepare the balance sheet. These are the notes on accounts. I have prepared balance sheet as per schedule 3, tangible assets, fixed assets, 16 lakhs plus 7 lakhs 60,000. Then comes bank balance, 2 lakh is the bank balance of purchaser, he has paid 1 lakh 50,000 at the purchase of business, so 2 lakh minus 1 lakh 50,000 is the cash and cash equivalent bank balance. Then comes total of current assets for both. These are the current assets purchased. These are the existing current, current assets of the purchaser. Now, authorized share capital. Then issued and subscribed capital. 8 lakhs plus 5 lakhs, 13 lakhs. Share of 10 each. Security premium. This is the general reserve of the purchaser. Now, next come secured loan, long term borrowings. Unsecured loan also will go to long-term borrowings. Trade payables, total of Sunday creditors will be recorded. This is how all the details are incorporated in notes to accounts. Now I want to prepare a balance sheet as per Schedule 3. These are the titles in which the reporting is to be made that you know very well. Authorized share capital, share of 10 each. Issue and subscribe capital that will be considered in total security premium reserves and surplus, general reserve reserves and surplus, long term borrowing secured loan and unsecured loan, trade payables, creditors, tangible assets, fixed assets, intangible assets are not there, cash and cash equivalent 50,000, other current assets. 
15 lakh 16,000. This is how you can prepare the balance sheet as, as prescribed as per Schedule 3. Have the total of equity and liabilities. And same way, have a total of assets. The total should agree. So, this is how the notes on accounts and the balance sheet is prepared. The important point of this sum is the consideration paid on the basis of intrinsic value. That's an important point. I have tried to explain you all these concepts. I feel that you have followed. Thanks to all of you.